Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell 2 Singularity Beyond video. So today we're going to be continuing on with the Stellar Nurseries update that we started last episode. We should have another two objects to uh, unlock today. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So as you can see, it's been eight days since we uh, last had a play. So I'm guessing that's going to give us a lot of currency. Where hopefully we can get to this today, but we will see. So, ah... Well, I think it's kind of already given it away. That is the Horsehead Nebula, so <laughs> it says it right in the tasks there. But let's see if we can actually get to it. So we need to complete astronomy mission. That's these things, isn't it? Yeah, so that's done. Keep doing that. We've got all of these as well. So I'll keep going through all these as good. Okay, cool. Probably just do the short, the quick short time ones if we still have to do more. We've got that as well. So how many do we have to do now? We need to do two more, so that's pretty straightforward. We'll do the 15 minute and the one hour one. Put the boost on just to speed things up a bit. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Do with that as well. And then we'll do the White Dwarf. Uh, keep that going in the meantime. Right, so while that's all uh, doing its things, we'll, we'll probably do the two 15-minute ones. That'll probably be the fastest way, actually. So, what else can we do? We need to photo the Orion Nebula. I mean, that's pretty... That actually unlocks the next object for us, actually. So that is great. So where's the Orion Nebula at? Oh, where are we? Let's go over here. There he is. Cool. Oh, hello. So, do that. Pretty straightforward task. Did that? It did. Alright, there we go. So, the Horsehead Nebula. Here it's coming. There you go. So, let's have a read of this. So, the Horsehead Nebula. A small dark nebula like the Horsehead. It is a nursery uh, bustling with starbursts. Here's why. The cloud is super dense with grains that block the light behind it, and the dense matter can easily clump into protostars that form into stars. Excellent stuff. So, the Horsehead Nebula, done. Can we level it straight away? I'm guessing we probably can, because we've got quite, quite a lot of uh, ranks to do, so we're just going to go ahead and do that immediately. We may be able to beat this all very, very fast with one week's worth of time, so let's just go ahead and do that as well. Very nice. And then level three. Simple as that. <laughs> Leave it for eight days with everything running. I mean, we got all these to level up as well. So that's good. Just give us absolutely loads of stuff. There's a Cygnus from the previous update done. That's level six now. Very nice. I'm expecting mostly today is probably just housekeeping just to finish up everything. I mean, look, you can see here all these guys are ready to level as well. So might as well just do it. Get it all done. See how high we can actually go with this, because there's a lot of currency to spend here. So, there we go. Right. Still got that one as well. I really like the sound effects in this game. It's proper cool when you level up stuff. I do like that. Kind of wish it played the sound effects a little more than when you leveled stuff, but it is nice. Right, so, we've got the first card for the Horsehead Nebula. So, what exactly is that? From Earth, the horse head is visible by telescope near Orion's belt. But remove the uh, Equine silhouette using an infrared lens and the nebula's bright blue babies pop into view. This nursery has many stars in the process of birth. Nice. Alright, we haven't got the second card, surprisingly, yet. Okay. Let's level all those up as well. Cool. Right, so where do we sit now? The solar system is all maxed out. We've got everyone on level 20. Got Pluto on level 20. We can do Shoemaker and Haley to level 20. Fully maxed out as well. Very nice. God, remember when these used to be so expensive? Oh, we're just absolutely flying through it now with these big ones. There you go. Very nice. So what else can we level up? Here, can we do... We can get all these guys up again. Into new levels. Look at this. This is just crazy. With how much we can afford here. What well, actually the task? Oh, we've basically done everything. And we need to do the pillars of curation again. Where are they sitting at? Well, that works. Straight to level 5 for you. Very nice. So that's that done. Now if we look here, we've done everything other than these astronomy missions. Which is literally here. So it's already pretty much almost already done. So we're going to finish this pretty quickly. And get through everything. So, very nice. There we go. Let's just click through all that. Look at this. This is great stuff. Straight through. Simple as that. There we go. And that's that all done. So that's pretty much everything. That's all the tasks, apart from this one final one done. We don't even need that. Um, cool. We don't have the second card, though. I wouldn't mind picking that up before we finish today. So let's see if these, any of these give us the card. I don't think they do. I think they only give you stuff for the that specific object. What we'll do is we'll roll one of the black holes 
just to give us bonus cards, really. <laughs> Hopefully give us the one we need. We will see. So, got some achievements here as well. What have we done? Oh, Pillars Creation's got a boost. Why not? Look at all this. So, all we need now, really, is to get everyone to level 6. And then that is literally all the achievements done. I uh, don't know how long that's going to take, though, <laughs> to get them to level 6. Because I'm guessing they're going to get pretty expensive now. For the, for the top three objects here, probably going to take some time. But, you know, by the time I come back for the next episode, we'll probably have um, them already. Because I don't know when that will drop. It's usually every month or so there's a new update to this. So, we will see. There we go. Get literally everyone as high level as we can. Pretty cool. Ty Seti as well. Up to level 10 plus now for all these guys at the bottom here. Oh, whoa. What is this? That's very strange. Is this supposed to be doing this? What is going on? Oh, that's so weird. I can't kick out of it. I think the game has glitched on us. <laughs> I thought this was like a secret we had just discovered, but no, I don't think it is. I think that is a genuine glitch or bug. Because I cannot do anything. It will not let me kick out of this. Oh, that's so weird. Well, never seen that before. Let's quickly go ahead and restart. Okay, everyone, so we are back. Um, we've just finished the first of these Dark Matter missions, so we only need to wait till that ends, and then we are pretty much done with this update. It's that final... Final mission there, which just needs doing. But in the meantime, like I said, we're going to do a black hole and see if we can get that last card we need to complete the set. So let's go ahead and see what we have got here. Let's go ahead and blow one of these big stars up completely here. Here we go. Very nice. Now, will we get the card? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. No. Really? I just want that card there. Uh, we've got constellations to do as well. Let's see here. What which ones are we missing? Serpents, which is the diffuse speed, or that one, which is the dwarf star mission. I'm not really bothered about that one. We're going to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and fill that up. And we have been slacking behind finishing these off, so I'm going to go for a second black hole here and just try and complete all the constellations today. Try and get that all done. So I think we've been one or two behind in the last few videos now. We haven't been able to get them all done. So we're going to go ahead and literally just try and complete the entire set here. And get everything done. Can it give us that card? All we need is that card. They're probably the best way to do it. But we're not getting it. So there's that one done. That's Serpents. Then it's just this one left now. Let's fill it up with what we've got. So let's have to go ahead and have a read. Because these all have their own... Remember, these have their own facts and stuff as well. So, so that... Um, the Cetec one, that's um, parks in a space smaller than the Milky Way. Four spiral galaxies are ripping each other apart. A fifth uh, galaxy pointing face onto Earth is far in the background. A sixth star cloud is also unrelated. Nice. If we actually go to our um, objects we've been doing today, where are we? So, here. There's actual stuff here. So, the Pistol Nebula features a young blue hypertrite much hotter and more luminous than the red hypergiant VY Canis Majoris. Pistol star shines so brightly that despite being near the centre of the Milky Way, it would be visible to our eyes even if dust weren't in the way. Cool. Jumbos. What's this? Scientists didn't think planets could form without a star, but in 2023 they spotted Jupiter mass binary objects, Jumbos, in the Orion Nebula. These young orbs often travel in pairs and, being rogue, aren't classified as planets. Their origin story is yet to be told. Interesting. Got the, um, but it's a creation. This chaotic nursery popped into view thanks to Webb's infrared camera. Polar gas jets from new stars crisscross the complex clouds. Some youngsters have loads of planetary disks and a heavyweight star called S2 has carved out its own glowing cave at the centre. Nice. we got the Eagle Nebula. Staff have uh, physical limits on size, but, but clouds of matter vary immersely. The dual bug, a planetary nebula, is one-tenth of a light year. The Eagle is tens of light years. A halo of hydrogen around the NGC 262 galaxy spans 1 million light years. Oh, yeah. Pretty crazy. And then we've also got this one here. The color code. Each color in the streamers, uh, filaments, curls, waves, and pillars. A nebula belong to a specific element. And atoms that emit a unique energy structure or signature. Oxygen glows teal blue or teal green to blue. Hydrogen is deep red and sulfur is orange. And helium is yellow. Cool. So, there we go. But again, we're still missing that other card for the horse head. It's annoying we haven't been given it. So, is there any way we can buy it? Is it there? No. The, the, ah, 
thought there was a way you could buy certain ones, and that's not what we're after. Um, let's try a neutron star, see if that gives us the card we need. Well, we should get it eventually. We've, we've got ready to unlock it, it's just we haven't been given it, so... A bit annoying, let's see. Still no. Ah, oh, man, let's try again. I don't want to keep buying black holes, but... Here we go. Let's try for another neutron star, come on. There you go, that's what we want. So, Sigma Uranus. The brightest light in the nebula is what lets us see it at all. A quintuple star system bathes the clouds of uh, UV light. Sigma Uranus A and B are an orbiting pair of blue main sequence stars. C, D and E will one day venture off as solo stars. Nice, there you go. So that is the final card there. Done. Cool. Oh, hang on. There you go. Slate level 3. Then we got this as well. Fill that up. We need three more. Let's get a Ryan Nebula up again as well. Because sometimes these give you the star fragments if you're lucky like that. So that's perfect. Uh, what have we got here? Anyone else to level up? Burn the star. Get that to level 12. Is that going to give us one? No. Okay, that's everything leveled for the time being. Okay, well, we only need... Um, we'll see. We only need two more. That's done as well. And that's everything. Hopefully this will give us uh, give us some as well. So we've finally done that mission. Ah, no constellation fragment. That's a bit annoying. Well, for research, we'll literally just do one of those, I guess, in the meantime. Uh, but obviously, what we're going to do is, to finish off the final two, uh, these give you... They give you them, don't they? We'll just do another one. Why not? <laughs> That'll give us enough of the, the constellation stars. So, there we go. Just spam click through it all as we finish up today. So, there you go. Now easily give us everything we need, so there you go. Two is all we need. Excellent. And there's that done. So all the achievements. Obviously the getting these guys to level six will be a bit of a challenge. We can get to those in the future. Um in future updates once we have more. But that seems to be pretty much everyone. There's the Eagle Nebula done. A few of the solar system stuff can be leveled again. That's pretty crazy. What's this? Alpha Centauri for level 14. Why not? Another constellation fragment. That'll help us for any future ones I add. Get the heliosphere done as well. Right, so that's pretty much everything. And then we can literally just do the cards. It's probably easier to do it here. Click from all like that. See how much we can actually afford. We'll do the expensive objects though first, or the higher ones, because they're all likely to give us more currency. But check that out. That's all of those guys done. Look at all these cards. This is crazy. Good thing we got all that dark matter to upgrade these, but they'll start getting very expensive thousand each some of these for level seven so pretty crazy but there you go that's all the cards done we're pretty much leveled up on every one that we can it heals cloud up to 16 why not there you go and another solar system enceladus done but other than that that's all the achievements done pretty much everything all we have to do is get the last few objects to level six but we'll do that in future episodes like we always do um, once we can finally afford them because they're going to take a long time to get to level i mean how expensive are they i mean yeah, that's that's gonna take quite a while to get to get up to level six. I mean, oh yeah, especially the Orion Nebula and the Pillars of Creation. We don't even have that level yet, so pretty crazy. But anyways, with that all said and done, guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. So we've completely finished this up for the time being. So we'll be back whenever the next update drops for the next part. I mean, take a guess. What do you think is gonna come next? I mean, eventually we're still we're gonna get to the galaxies, aren't we? Like Milky Way and stuff, surely. I mean, they haven't done, like, dying stars yet, I guess. I mean, they did do the stages of stars here, the lives of stars. But we don't have any, like, red super, like, red hyper giants. I mean, Arcturus is probably the biggest of the stars. But, you know, it'd be cool to see, like, Canis Majoris or Stevenson or U.S. Scuti or something like that uh, thrown in the mix. Um, or, you know, maybe more black holes or pulsars. We don't have pulsars yet properly in here. Or even, like, a... Well, we've got Van Marines, haven't we? That's the closest thing. Uh, but that's a white dwarf. But we know maybe a pulsar, super giant, hypergiant stars could be good. But other than that, I think we've got the black hole now as well. That was one object I was waiting to see for quite a while. Where was it? Uh, Cygnus there. So I think, you know, eventually they're going to have to do the galaxies. I think that would be the logical like Milky Way, Andromeda, Pinwheel Galaxy, stuff like that. Whirlpool. You know, that would be cool to see. But, oh, there you go. Oh, horse head up. There you go. That's level four now. But, yeah, with that all said and done, stay tuned for future episodes when they drop, guys. I'll get to them uh, as soon as possible. Oh, Pillars of Creation level six now. Oh, that's cool. That's another uh, thing done. We can quickly have a read of that before we finish. But, yeah, stay tuned for future episodes, and we will uh, see what this game uh, has to hold in the future. 
But anyways, so pillars of creation, low birth rate. We've sun 400 billion stars already. How often does the Milky Way gain new ones? Every year, roughly four solar masses worth of gas ignite into seven stars, give or take. Most of the stars are red or smaller than the sun. So there you are. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.